Hey YouTube, it's Jared, and today I'm going to be reacting to some Eurovision. Let's do it. Before we get started, if you want to keep up to date with all of my reaction videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please and thank you. Today we head over to Moldova where they've had their national selection, Etapa Nazionale 2023. We have another returning artist, Pasha Parfini, represented Moldova in 2012. He just missed out on the top 10 spot, so he is back to get the top spots. He will be entering with the song Suwarele Shit Luna, which means the sun and the moon. In the final of the national selection, Pasha got the top marks from the jury and the public. Interestingly enough, in second place was Sunstroke Project, who represented Moldova in 2010 and 17, and then in third place was Aliona Moon, who represented in 2013. For the latter, he actually accompanied her on stage. So Moldova's best place was third place in 2017, which was by Sunstroke Project. They've just come off of a top 10 last year, and that entry was second in the televoting. So maybe similar success for them this year. Let's go. Oh my god, I love it already. It's dark, it's edgy, the drums, this just appearance on stage looks so good. I love the garms they're wearing. So far, I'm just intrigued by it. It's such a contrast to his entry in 2012, which was bright, cheery. We've now gone into something complete opposite. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! My God. God, that is so insane. I was not expecting it to hit that hard. This has got some inspiration from France last year and the couple of Ukrainian entries. Vocals are on point, the music is incredible. I'm absolutely loving all of the culture that we're seeing on stage. It's that perfect blend of traditional meets contemporary. I love this orb that we've got in the background. I think that's supposed to be symbolic of the, the sun and the moon that he's referencing. Uh, Maybe, maybe it's just a pretty screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Moldova, you are literally blowing my mind right now. I cannot believe this. I'm in love with this entry already. This is so authentic and raw. I am absolutely in love with the staging of this. I Year after year, they just give us so many memorable entries in terms of the performance, the songs. They send us absolute bops, and I am so, so impressed by this. They really just have mashed it all together. It's those techno sounds with the traditional instruments. It culminates so good with that atmosphere on stage as well. Pick up the drop! <laughs> this is going to go out so hard. <laughs> that is how you Eurovision. That is exactly how you do it. What an insane performance. I, I loved every aspect of it from the beginning. There wasn't a part where I checked out of it. I was hooked 
straight away. Moldova just brings the fun, they bring the culture, they bring tradition, and they package it so nicely and give it a contemporary feel. I literally feel like I'm in touch with my ancestors and my spirits now. <laughs> I'm definitely conjuring some demons tonight. <laughs> okay, so the entire entry has been sung in Romanian, which is the first time that Moldova have done this since 2013. Uh, last year, it was a mix of Romanian and English, and even Romania this year have theirs being Romanian and English. So this is the only entry that has been completely sung in Romanian. This is probably coming for the Ethnic Bop of the Year Award that we are just <laughs> handing out, apparently. <laughs> I loved Pasha's performance in 2012. He really brought a lot of fun to that stage. That song was heavily played on my playlist, almost as much as Euphoria was. And again, he's come back here. He's got great stage presence, great vocals, uh, loving the hair this time around as well. The backing vocalists as well, incredible voices. It sounds so nice, blends in with his. And of course, so many years after they've given us epic sax guy, we now have epic flute guy. <laughs> if it is a flute, it might not be. I've been wrong about this before. I'm very impressed with this entry easy qualifier there's no way this wouldn't go through uh and this could definitely vibe for towards the top 10 like i can completely see that going up there that's what i thought of moldova what do you guys think please let me know your favorite part of this entry is it the staging is it the music is it everything put it all down there in the comments and as always i will see you on the next one take care guys